Yo, what is up guys, JD Zero bringing you a part 5 of the Soul Silver randomized solo run without evolving our Iris the Bagon here. Um, part 5, so, uh, I've been trying to mess with the whole, uh, background music and whatnot for the gameplay here. And I noticed that it's because of the headphones thing that I have, it won't be playing the background music. And I did have like a adapter thing where I could separate the sound from the music and whatnot to my, uh, what you call it, what was it called, the, uh, speakers? to my headset so I'll be able to play music from the gameplay and be able to record my voice on the mic as well but since it's broken I need to get another adapter to use for that so I can't play the audio from the music from the game background so that kind of sucks so what we're gonna try to do is have uh as you hear it now we're gonna have uh the battle theme guzma from the sun and moon music playing in the background by uh little v mills like i said his link into his you know for his channel is in the description once you uh, go down and look at it look at it it's gonna be right there he does anime pokemon and other stuff on a guitar so definitely definitely check him out but before we go to where we need to go we're gonna go to new bark and uh basically get us some netballs because i remember Seeing, hearing something about there being netballs in New Bark, and we're gonna get those netballs so it can make it much easier to catch the war turtle that we're gonna eventually have as our HM slave for the uh, whatever moves that we need it for. Because I wanted to get Pokeballs, but I'm like, nah. I shouldn't really get Pokeballs just because of that, you know, just to try to catch it with a Pokeball. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a difficult chance of doing so. So we're just going to try to get Netballs instead to make the catch easier and better. So we're going to probably spend more time trying to try to catch war turtle before taking on the sprout tower so it's gonna be like separating this whole thing into probably probably if any chance this might take because i'm not trying to make a video long as as possible probably just about 30 minutes if at least 30 minutes um but like i said it's like I'm not trying to make the video as long as you guys will hope it for. I might try to shorten this into a 20-24 uh, minutes at least. Depending on how fast I get through the game. Because that's the thing about Pokemon and battling trainers. It takes the time to get where you need to get to. Like the whole concept of how Ash and whatnot, or between Ash and his father, because like everybody said, Ash's father only took four days to, uh, you know, uh, reach. You know, the Viridian City, you know, is it, was it Viridian City? Something like that. Basically, it only took him four days. 
And I'm pretty sure it's probably because he was training for the most part before he reached the city. I mean, I'm pretty sure he probably didn't have any trouble reaching it. It just, it took him four days to get there because he probably was training or something like that. So, you know, that's my reason that I think what took him so long. Because Ash didn't train, he was trying to, probably only took him like, what like, because they say it only took him probably about at least a couple of hours, if anything. So it didn't take him a day, but it just took him like a couple of hours to get to where he needed to get to. Because all that running around from the Spiro and whatnot got him to where he needed to get to. And so, and somewhat. So, depending on how long it takes us in a couple of hours to get where, or a couple of minutes where it takes us is majority of how long it's going to get us to get our Pokeballs to come back and catch this War Turtle right here. <clears throat> will defy of how how far it's going to take us, how long it's going to take us to do what we need to do. So, because that's our majority goal is to get the War Turtle and then get the and then try to challenge the battle the Sprout Tower. So that's what we're working towards too at this moment. It's challenging trying to catch the uh, War Turtle and then challenge and then challenging the Sprout Tower. And then the next video will be challenging the gym. And I'm messing around with some candy that I got. So if you hear all that, that's because of grabbing candy. Oh, and another thing, I feel like they're, they're spoiling Pikachu way too much. Because if you notice how when, uh, what was it, 6th gen? When 6th gen came out, they gave uh, Pikachu his bright his uh his cry if you notice that they gave him his cry but he didn't but all the other Pokemon didn't get their cry it's so crazy they give Pikachu a cry his original cry in the anime but can't give all the other Pokemon, their cry, that's in the anime. Why? I think they're spoiled this Pokemon way too much. I don't know why they do that. It makes no sense to spoil this Pokemon. Now, some of you might disagree of Pikachu being spoiled and there's some of you that do agree that Pikachu gets way too spoiled for its own good and Pikachu does get spoiled for his own good way too much I don't know why they do that but it is there because one Pikachu is able to fly, surf, get to cosplay, and then get two signature moves belonging to it. Well, technically, Electro Ball is not its signature move anymore because another Pokemon now knows how to do Electro Ball. A couple of Pokemon know how to do Electro Ball. So, if that is a sick, if that is signature move anymore, but the fact of the matter is, 
he did have that as a signature move. Then he also got Volt Tackle. Volt Tackle is definitely a signature move. Um, now it's to the point where in Sun and Moon, he's wearing Ash's hat. So it's like, wait, plus he's wearing Ash's hat and he got his own little cry, but none of the other Pokemon have their cry. I mean, there's one thing to spoil a Pokemon, but you spoiled freaking Pikachu way too far. Don't even give Raichu his freaking cry. Like, come on. Like, what? where's the love for Raichu? Where's the love for Pichu? Where's the love for all these other Pokemon? And you guys are just spoiling Raichu. I mean, Pikachu. It like it makes no sense how you guys spoil all these other you don't spoil any of these other Pokemon but you spoil freaking Pikachu. Now one, it shouldn't take you that hard to implement those cries in. It really shouldn't be that hard. But it's really concerning that you guys spoiled it for Pikachu to have his own cry and not have all those other Pokemon have their own cry. A lot of people see that's kind of messed up. So I'm just, you know, if the Pokemon company is watching my vid, please, in the next generation of the game, it's a mental cry, you know? Because, like I said, you kind of spoiled Pikachu way too much. I mean, I understand that Pikachu is the mascot, but, like I said, you kind of spoiled this Pokemon way too much to give it his own cry. These little different forms of cosplay and everything. Yo, be fair and at least give all the other Pokemon their cries, you know, from the anime. Like, let all these Pokemon say their name when they appear, when they pop out of the Pokeball. Because it just, it just seems unfair, you know. And I, I think a lot of people agree with me on that one. Like... It would be a lot much better if all these Pokemon had their own cry from the anime instead of using the cry that they already have in the game now. You know, you know, don't make Pikachu all special. <clears throat> So we're already like 13 minutes in. Hmm. So yeah, like I said, you know, I just hate the fact that these people spoil Pikachu way too much. But I think, if anything, the one thing that would really change in this series is of the game. Does everybody have their own cry from the enemy? Where did everybody just say their own name? Because I think the game will be way much better like that. Did I just heal my Pokemon? I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Let's, let's just check. No, I did not heal my Pokemon. I thought I healed it. Okay, so, like I said, you know. I feel like it would have been much better off as that, like I said, you know, if they would have did it where all the Pokemon had their own cry from the anime, the games would probably do a lot much better, probably even sell a lot much better. So just letting you know, or if anybody who could spread the word, you know, 
just letting you guys know, I think the games would be a lot much better if everybody had their own cry instead of just the Pikachu having his own cry from the anime series. Okay, so here's the Pokeball. And I think we only could get three? Oh my god, that's that sucks. That's that's only three Pokeballs we could get. What the hell? That's not cool. I mean, dang. So that means we have to literally use a Pokeball. We're just gonna have to use Pokeballs to catch freaking War Turtle then. That kinda sucks. Knowing the fact that we're almost to that point. You know what? Let me just get 10 Pokeballs. Alright, okay. Yep. And Pokeballs, nice and done. Then we're gonna get some Paralyzed Heal. We're gonna get like, probably like, three Paralyzed Heal. That's all we need. That's all we need. Yes, yep, 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 okay, nice, nice, yep, okay. So, now, since we got our Paralyzed Heals, we could try to catch, uh, or total here and like I said you know that's the whole issue with this is it might take up most of the time here so we might just do uh, sprout tower and <clears throat> sprout tower in the next video with the uh, gym leader battle and whatnot because I like I say I'm pretty sure you guys don't want all this time in here you know dealing with all that oh my god don't tell me is it Mewtwo it is Mewtwo Mewtwo I do not want to deal with you I am not trying to catch you you're you're not gonna be the Pokemon who's gonna surf me around fly me around or do anything other than that so go away Mewtwo get out of here here I just ran into Mewtwo twice bruh I just ran away from you once now I have to run away from you twice Come on, me too. Come on. Don't, don't do this. Cause you're, you're a rare counter. Don't tell me you're a common counter over here. That's crazy. Running into me too twice. That's like the most rarest thing. I'm pretty sure that's do the rarest thing in this route. Me too now. And I'm guessing the title of the video would be catching um basically catching war turtle for a gym slave because i'm pretty sure i won't be able to um do the whole sprout tower and the what you call it sprout tower and the gym battle and in this video as well because I'm not trying to make the video long like I said you know come on War Turtle where are you don't give me that I am not trying to battle a Glacia get out of here did you can't learn sir where's your counterpart I was about to say something stupid and I just like wait wait before you say what you need to say back up before you say it okay okay I'm gonna have to go into the other grass because it seems like I cannot get it to pop up for some reason so we're just gonna go ahead and go into this grass because this is where it usually pop up at and a bell spot pops up Okay, Bellsprout, you, you need to go away. Because like I said, it's 
Wait, 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 wait. I'm not trying to make this video. Wait, there we go. Okay, so now, since this man has popped up, let me start throwing some Pokeballs. Because we just need to get the Pokemon and the Pokeball. <coughs> yes, okay. So we didn't need to do any extra shit right there. We got it at one cot. That's awesome. So now we got our second HM Slave. And all we needed to do is throw one freaking Pokeball. That's great. So we're gonna name HM Slave 2 here. Dude, it can't see if H M C E H M C E two 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 two. Cause all we're doing is using the H M C E. So there's our H M slave two, nice and caught. Now all we have to do is just go back up to the uh, the city and whatnot, and save there, and just see you guys in the next you know video, I guess basically, because like I said, I'm not trying to make this video as that long, and another thing I was gonna basically explain to you guys because knowing the fact that this is part five I kind of want to do part six as a setup where I have a layout but I'm kind of just hoping you guys would you know comment in the video or something or comment on Pokemon Mino if you want me to do an actual layout for this game and have a layout I'm pretty sure most of you don't really care if I do a layout or not you know but it will be nice to do a layout for you guys on this video you know on this type of solo run showing off big on you know jumping up and down or doing whatever because I'm going to have it set up where Bagon is going to be moving, you know, in the, in the, in the layout and whatnot. So, I don't mind, you know, having it set up, a layout for it. I'll probably still do it, but it just, it's just going to make the whole video editing a little bit more than what I usually do because now I just got the whole point of I'm having Gizma's background you know music in the in here because it's like I can't get the audio to work because I'm wearing a headset and that's basically it you know that's all I could do is have this headset on to record my voice but can't get the audio and if I don't have the audio you know don't have the headset in the the sound of the gameplay will over throw my voice on top of that so all I could do is have one or the other until I get another adapter cord where I could split the audio and the sound of the gameplay onto my speaker and still also have audio to from the mic to play on the recorder so that's the thing that's all I have to do that's that's basically why I'm playing only the uh, battle theme song from the Guzma on here until I get that set up so like I said, 
I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the next video because I can't make this video longer than what it is. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want it longer than it is. And like I said, if you guys want me to do a layout, I will do a layout. I mean, I don't have to do the layout, but I kind of just want to, you know, just want your thoughts and opinions on the layout. Uh, yeah, but... Just let me know in the comment section down below. It, it could be on here, on my channel, on the video, or it could be on Pokemon Mino in the comment section there as well. Was I share it up on there as well? Uh, yeah. So, picture squirrel shades on. Stay awesome, guys. Bye.